The Hubble Space Telescope's successor is getting ready for its 2018 launch. What will it be looking for? Back in 1990, NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit. It didn't exactly go off without a hitch. The pictures the telescope sent back weren't as sharp as they were supposed to be. The problem turned out to be the telescope's mirror. It wasn't quite the right shape. Fortunately, a repair crew was able to install a series of small mirrors to correct for the problem, and the Hubble was in business. Since then, NASA has used the Hubble to peer into far-off, distant regions of our galaxy and beyond. The images, enhanced with color, are breathtaking. But now the Hubble's mission is coming to an end as its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, prepares for launch. This new telescope will occupy a higher orbit than the Hubble. That will help keep the telescope nice and chilly. It's designed to operate at very low temperatures. The telescope will sport a fancy sunshield to help dissipate heat. And the higher orbit will mean the telescope will be more stable and have a higher observing efficiency than the Hubble. The JWST, as the cool kids call it, is an infrared telescope with a primary mirror that's six and a half meters wide. That's 2.7 times greater in diameter than the Hubble's mirror. When you look at it in terms of area, the JWST's mirror is six times larger. The mirror is made up of 18 segments, each mounted to a backing frame connected to adjusters to keep them all in the right shape. Oh, and this tattoo I'm getting from Brandy Smart? It's because of this telescope. Brandy is an artist who's taking part in a project where NASA's allowing artists to create works of art inspired by the telescope itself. This is one of 18 tattoos, one for each of the primary mirror's facets. And this is totally legit. And a tiny bit painful. So what will the JWST look for? Well, what have you got? Looking into space is like looking back through time. The light we see from stars took millions of years to get to us in some cases. One thing scientists will use the JWST to study is evidence for what the universe was like back when it was just getting started. Perhaps they'll uncover evidence that gives further support to the Big Bang Theory. Or maybe they'll find something intriguing that suggests an alternative origin story for our universe. But the JWST isn't just about studying the earliest moments of existence. It will also provide us images of solar systems that could potentially include planets capable of supporting life. It won't quite have the resolution for us to peek in on distant planets to see if there are any aliens wandering around, but it will provide scientists with more information about where to take a closer look with future instruments. Ultimately, the JWST will help us gain a deeper understanding and appreciation for the cosmic forces that shape our universe. From the formation of entire galaxies to watching a star being born, the JWST's mission is fill in the gaps in our knowledge about the stars. You don't get much more forward thinking than that. Okay, so here's a question for you folks out there. Would any of you consider getting a science-themed tattoo? Maybe you have one already. I want to hear about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed learning about the James Webb Space Telescope while watching me get tattooed, let me know by hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. After all that, check out these other amazing videos right over here.